the world's strongest military, is recommitting itself to the Indo-Pacific region. And this time, the mobilization is unlike ever before. American troops are undertaking strategic exercises across Asia. It's a projection of hard power in the Indo-Pacific region. A clear message to China and North Korea that the big bad American war machine cannot be ignored. Because no matter what happens, America's military is always prepared. Thailand is hosting Southeast Asia's largest ever military drills. Cobra Gold is the longest running international military exercise. This multilateral exercise strengthens interoperability and bonhomie. Here are all the nations that are the main participants. Thailand is the host country. Other Southeast Asian nations taking part in the drills are Indonesia, Singapore and Malaysia. From Eastern Asia, there is South Korea and Japan, and the only non-Asian participant is the US. America has been involved with Exercise Cobra Gold from the time it first began in 1982. And US forces have taken part every year in these last four decades, which shows the amount of value and commitment that Washington gives to the Indo-Pacific region. This is, as the announcer said, the 43rd iteration of Cobra Gold. And what that means to all of us is that there are decades of friendship and partnership and shared values, all committed to seeing a free and open Indo-Pacific, but also seeing us learn from one another. And this year is no less. The U.S. has the largest contingent of troops at Cobra Gold 2024. Here's what the drills are all about. At least 9,000 troops are taking part. The troops will carry out live fire exercises, amphibious assault drills, jungle survival training, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The drills are aimed at building bonds between the US and its allies. And it just so happens that the other Asian allies taking part in Cobra Gold have problems with China. The most important thing for these exercises is building the relationships so that we do that here in training and if we face a real world event together we know the people and we're ready to respond. Um, I'm looking for the proficiency of our teams uh, but the relationships are enduring. Cobra Gold 2024 ends with the Marine Corps of participating nations taking part in a massive show of force. From the South China Sea to the East China Sea American troops are undertaking warlike training. The US and South Korea are not just preparing for China. The two nations have launched simultaneous drills against another adversary, North Korea. Exercise Freedom Shield 2024 begins as Kim Jong-un's nuclear threats reach an all-time high. American and South Korean militaries are preparing for a possible war. Freedom Shield 24 is designed to be a tough and realistic exercise to strengthen the combined defensive posture and alliance response capabilities based on scenarios that reflect diverse threats within the security environment. And lessons learned from recent wars and conflicts with some of those key aspects focusing on conducting multi-domain operations, leveraging land, sea, air, cyber, and space assets, and countering DPRK nuclear operations. North Korea has begun the year with a string of missile launches. 
Pyongyang has also ended all military and economic cooperation with Seoul. And South Korea is worried that its northern neighbor is serious about the nuclear warnings. South Korea and the United States are jointly developing a counter-operation plan against North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. And it will be applied to deter and prevent their further and possible usage of nuclear weapons. The 10-day-long drills will see jointness between the air forces of South Korea and the U.S. The primary aim of the exercise is to practice identifying and neutralizing North Korea's nuclear capabilities. There will also be live-fire training involving ground forces, as well as cooperation in space and cyber capabilities. These exercises show the strong bond shared by American and South Korean troops as they prepare for the challenge from China and North Korea. Joining South Korea and the US is Japan. Tokyo is worried about the growing tensions in Asia. Japan is already participating in Cobra Gold. They also hold special anti-China drills to practice for a possible invasion of Taiwan. China's military trends are a matter of serious concern to Japan and the international community. They mark the greatest strategic challenge to date in ensuring the peace and stability of Japan and the international community and in strengthening the international order based on the rule of law. I believe we should respond by leveraging our comprehensive national strength and cooperation with our allies and like-minded countries. China and North Korea have condemned the US, South Korea and Japan. Pyongyang has even threatened severe consequences. The United States and Republic of Korea will be made to pay a dear price for their false choice while realizing that it causes their security uneasiness at a serious level every moment. Meanwhile, China says it will increase its military spending by over 7% this year. Beijing has also removed the concept of a peaceful reunification with Taiwan. We will adhere to the implementation of the Chinese Communist Party's overall policy for the new era on resolving the Taiwan question, stay committed to the One China Principle and the 1992 Consensus, and resolutely oppose separatist activities aimed at Taiwan independence and external interference. China's actions go beyond Taiwan. They repeatedly carry extreme military maneuvers around the Philippines. Beijing's ships have collided with and sprayed water cannons at Manila's boats in the West Philippine Sea, showing how irresponsible China really is. And this is exactly the reason why the US is recommitting its forces to Asia. Because to take on a bully, you need a bigger bully.